Let's find out how we can add our uh, amulet robes and our wings. So uh, let's get into that. First, we're going to need to spawn in. Uh, what I like to do is I like to get the halo and you just need three good perks or it, to get the red halo you need three bad perks, but that gives us a halo. So you don't need this, you can just copy and paste the uh, um, little cheat sheet code into your player file, but yeah, once if you're going for all this aesthetic stuff, most likely you already have a god run going, so let's hop out and uh, let's change up our character. So this is our player file. We're going to open that up, and like I said, I use uh, Notepad++. I'm going to be learning a, a different program, but for now, this one works for me. And so what do we want to change? I want to change our jetpack real quick, so let's do that. Jetpack. Oh, one, two, three. So I want to change the particles. Let's see, let's see what particles we got. We got, you know, ore powder kind of is cool. I think it's going to catch us on fire. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But let's throw that in. Boop. And then we're going to create real particles. And that should be fine for that. And then we're going to find our halo. Once you find the, the halo, you'll see particle emitter component. This is the, the code that I've been trying to learn and figure out. It is quite a bit difficult to learn, especially since there isn't really anything on it, since the, the devs made this system specifically for Noita. So yeah, it's taken me a bit to try and figure out everything in there. And uh, I actually came up with um, a little uh, cheat sheet for the particle system right here. And so it, it, is, it is very difficult to explain. Uh, so I'm most likely just going to skip over everything, uh, but I will throw this in the uh, Project Glamour uh, folder, so if you're curious, then you can either add stuff to it, or if you find out what something does, like B2 Force, I don't know what that does, but if you find out what it does, definitely let me know, because I, I would love to add it to this and add it to our repertoire of just like stuff that we can work with and figure out. But so for now, uh, all I want to do is throw in our wings and we're going to go grab those real quick. So I'm actually going to close this now since we're, we're not going to be uh, going into detail that much with this. But like I said, this will be in the folder. So let's open up the folder and I already have it on the wings section. And so I already made a few wings right here. And I think, let's see, let's see which one we have selected right now. We have just these wings selected. So how are we going to tell these, these particles to be the wings? So what we're going to do is we're gonna click up here and we're going to copy this. And so we're going to scroll down to image, image file so this is where it's going to look for the image that it's going to uh, put for the wings and so we're going to add a forward slash wings dot png and then you do have to change all these others to forward slashes uh, nova was curious if you can just uh, cut out some of the code, I am not entirely sure. This is the way I've been doing it and it's worked so far, so I just do it the exact same. But we also have the image anim or image animation color file, so you can change the color of it as well, but it does have to be the exact same image. And something that Nick pointed out 
is that even though this doesn't have a background, it won't run properly if you're trying to load it into the game. So you do have to throw a black background and uh, with the gradients and stuff, that's this, this system's great but confusing to hell and back. We are just going to learn how to get these wings up on our character and I believe we need to offset them a little bit because uh, I, I believe the center is right here and um, obviously that's where it's going to spawn our character so it's going to spawn at our feet if we don't offset it. So I think the the optimal offset was neg 23. So the way that I remember that uh, and the way that I remember it's Y is if you look at it, if it was symmetrical, it cuts through the Y, it's a lot more symmetrical this way. And if it cuts through X, it can go either way, but uh, horizontally for X. And then negative will be to the left on X, positive to the right. And then negative is upwards on Y and positive is downwards on Y. And then lifetime. So we don't want these to last that long because uh, they're going to be spawning particles every every second, like every frame. So we want the particles to last very little. I think 0.05 was what I came up with was a good number for them. 0.05. And then I only add a zero here just to make sure it doesn't complain at us. And then we have spark yellow. So this is actually the color for the particles right now. And you can have them emit real particles and stuff. Like I said, uh, in, this, uh, in this folder will be this particle system note. And uh, you can look at and learn through that way. Uh, but the main thing is, if you don't change anything in here, if you want real particles, just change this one to a one and it'll emit real particles. If you want to uh, uh, just have them not collide with uh, terrain and stuff, like you can uh, leave this off. So yeah, there's a whole bunch. Uh, we do have to turn cosmetic force create on. So render back means that it's going to render behind like stuff. Uh, the cosmetic force create makes it render in front of stuff. Uh, do I know why it works like that? No. Uh, I did go through like every single one of these and tried to like 1 or 100, see if it did anything. There was a lot of fun results and uh, if you're curious you can check out my discord and we'll uh, I'll obviously be working with this more often and if you have questions you can definitely ask in there. Uh, neg 40 for the gravity. I didn't realize that. Uh, let's change this. Uh, let's do like neg 5. It's not going to have that big of an impact since the particles aren't going to last that long. But let's give it a, a shot real quick and see what it looks like. We're also going to change this to 1. So this should be good. Uh, speed is good. Actually, let's change the speed. So the animation speed is how fast the wings are going to spawn. Like the particles from the center are going to spawn outwards. Uh, usually I just throw up about 30 or 60 for this. It, it'll spawn extremely fast and that's what we want. Uh, if you're trying to get something like one of these effects, if you put this one in, um, it will start from the center and it'll build outwards, but you probably want it a little bit slower so you can see that design and everything. And that's what I used for the, uh, the video previously. So uh, let's also turn off, uh, you know what, this makes it look more realistic, like the wings kind of move with the Air Force, so I'll leave it on for now. Um, but yeah, well, let's save this and let's also uh, add our robes real quick which should be in this folder it's going to be player parentheses robes so the reason it's in parentheses is because it's an amulet and the reason we're using amulet for robes is if you're stained when you change your robe colors it has a, a like a 
different system going through your robes. So you'll be permanently stained if you change your robes separately. So what I do is I just change the amulet and it overlays on top of your robes. And it's a very, very small like thing that you, you see on it. Like, uh, we'll, we'll show that off. But for this XML, you'll most likely have it in a different folder. So let's, pro let's uh, fix this up. So we're going to copy this real quick. And let's go in here. So what we need to change in here is right back here. So I actually have this set up already, but what you do is paste in where you have the folder and everything, and then uh, change the backslashes to forward slashes, and then you'd save it. But mine's already done, so we don't have to mess with that. And then we're going to look for amulet. And so we have the image file right here and the gem so we want this one because this is the one that we're going to tell to talk to here so same thing we're going to copy this and then we're going to just put it right back here Boop. and then we're going to change these to forward slashes and we're going to turn it on. If you don't already have an amulet, then you turn it on and then you can save that. So let's see what we have going so far. Ooh, one more thing. Since we found out how to do our wing or our uh, cape, let's do our cape real quick. So we're gonna find Verlet. And uh, this is the, the cape color right here. I, I want to learn this system too, but I mean, there's a lot less. However, it crashes a lot more if you're messing with this. So, and maybe at some point I'll, I'll dive into this one. I was able to give myself three capes, which was kind of cool, but yeah. So for now, this, this one is a little bit too foreign to me. So I'm actually going to use a little, uh, little thing I have right here. It is in the cheat sheet uh, for for finding the cape colors and whatnot, but it is just a, just a hex code, so you can use that. And then you paste that in, and then, yeah. So we're gonna save that, and let's see what our character looks like so far. All right, well, um, something's a little wrong with our wings. I, I believe the animation speed is a little bit too high and our robes aren't entirely matched up yet. If you jump, it matches them up. I don't know why. You can see a little pixel on the border of us uh, that, that's just uh, showing up. But also you can see our arm kind of clipping through. So we have a few things to touch up. Uh, our jetpack is uh, shooting the the proper thing and uh it's fantastic we got a little fire firework jetpack so now that we know what we need to fix up let's fix it up real quick and we're also going to get rid of this halo because uh yeah i i'm kind of not feeling it maybe we'll change it out for our mag so let's hop out and fin find out what we need to fix so the halo picture is actually below our uh, wing file right here so I, I typed in Halo, it came up here, scrolled down, this is what we were just messing with, and below it is the Halo itself. So you can just change this if you wanted to use like the mag we have right here, you can do that. And you know what, let's actually do that as a little recap. And uh, we're just going to change this to mag, and go over here, and then, oh. Messed it up. There we go. Boop. 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 All right. Or you could just turn it off if you uh, didn't want to see this. The sprite component just is this right here. So you can uh, mess with that. And so what do we need to fix on our wings? Our wings are a lot bit jittery. And I believe that's due to the animation speed as well as uh, like how fast it loads and stuff. This is uh, how fast it also like um, 
renders the the image so let's change that back to one and neg 23 was actually too much I think we should probably drop it down maybe negative 17 let's try 17 real quick and see if that's any better actually you know you know what I think neg 7 how high up were they? Let's try neg seven. I, I have a feeling that that was the number that I used before. Gravity is fine. So the wings should be fixed up and then we want to remove our arm. So I know it sounds weird. Uh, actually, I think it's player arm. There we go. So even though we changed our robes, that's only our robes. And you can actually see in the player file that we don't have an arm. Like we have we have one arm, but this arm for the wand isn't actually used. It's a different file. So it is this one right here, image file. So you know what? To put my mouth where, or to put my coding I guess where my mouth is we're just gonna change this to zero and so we shouldn't have an arm now and so that's perfectly fine your, your character looks normal without an arm if you want to actually go into this and do the exact same thing that we did for the amulet robes then you can do that but yeah let's save this and then uh, what was one more thing that we wanted to change I think that should be it our cape was looking nice and good but uh, ooh, you know what we can also do on the wings now? Uh, let's go to wings since I uh, have it typed in as wings or you could do halo and scroll down. Let's create real particles and yeah, let's let's see what they do now. All right. Yeah, I'm a fan. I think our wings are looking pretty nice. They're a little bit slower than us. Uh, there's probably a setting that we could change to make them keep up, but so far I think they're they're pretty nice. So, yeah, this is how you get wings. Change your jetpack. Change your your cape. Change your robes and whatnot. We're on fire, which is a little bit unfortunate. Let's uh, let's fix that up real quick. There we go. No problem. <laughs> Now we now we can just shoot out orb powder and yeah it's it's a really cool system so I I know it's a little bit rushed in the video um, I originally recorded this uh, once and it took 44 minutes and I wasn't even done with like the first like three fourths of it so. I, I cut out a lot of uh, just stuff. If you're really curious, you can ask me or um, I, I bet someone else will uh, be able to explain it better eventually. Uh, on the wiki, uh, Nick also showed me that there's a, uh, a complete like thing on how to do it in the wiki, which I'll provide a uh, link to in the uh, description, but yeah. So I'm just going to go through and uh, I'll I'll show some of the wings that I've made. I'm also going to change the air back to zero because even though it makes it jittery, it it's a little bit too much. So I'm going to hop out and also you can see our mag and our arm isn't really there. So yeah, everything worked out nice and pretty. So let's let's hop back out and I'll just show off some of the the creations that I did with these wings. And one thing is if you want the the wings to have a certain like uh, picture, it does have to match up pixel for pixel or is it it's going to have uh, a bit of issues loading in. So we're gonna use some of the ones that I made. I think I'm liking, I'm liking these, these four. So let's copy that and we'll just paste that right up here. And then for these ones, the real particles don't work. So we're gonna turn that off. And then we're also gonna turn the air off. All right, clearly it was not 
the error that was causing them to act jittery. So let me go find out real quick what it is. I apologize, I didn't even go over these. The Y position offset, we need to change that to zero. The X position offset, zero. And the velocity from center. So these mean it's going to spawn in different areas uh, like offset. And then the velocity is how fast it's firing from the center. So how fast from the center these are like flying outwards. So yeah, I, I should have went over that, but that is what was actually causing them to act so sporadic. I think the error would be fine if you left it on. Um, it, it's worth a test just turning Sorry, it's also worth a test just turning these to zero and then uh, leaving the air the same. Uh, now I believe, I, I guess we'll see if uh, Neg7 was good. And then uh, we can also change these to whatever spark if we just don't want to use the uh, images as well. But for now, let's see our wings function properly. There we go. I think they look pretty fantastic. I, I like these wings a lot. Uh, I made them a little bit more transparent so that you can see through them and they're not just in your face, very vibrant, but you can do whatever you want with your wings or whatever file you want to use. You can make a heart, you can make it shoot out just random just particles, uh, but yeah, l let me show off uh, a, few, uh, a few particles and uh, cool, fun ones. This one's purple. And, uh, Let's, uh, let's turn on our void wings. Um, so void, for some reason, doesn't show up, uh, but you can make it show up. All right. Well, our wings uh, kind of trapped us now that, uh, that they're void wings. So I did turn them on with the real particle emitter, so or real particles. But yeah, this game is fantastic and you should take every opportunity to do what you can in it and learn everything that you can because um, I learned pretty much how to code from this game and uh, the help of Ham uh boiled ham that is to like make a very basic mod but like i learned how how stuff is like called upon and whatnot and yeah like there is so much to do in this game so much to fun to have so much to exploring to do so yeah get your fill and uh definitely leave like um a nice review for the devs they they worked real hard on this game and they deserve every bit of praise for making this masterpiece but yeah hopefully you learned something and hopefully you can uh enjoy your wings or whatever particle you want to emit and uh just add it to your player file and the reason that i go through all this is that there's secrets in the game that you cannot see unless you don't have mods and so that's why I go through all this like hassle to add this like visual stuff to my character is because if I don't then I will be missing some of the game that uh, the devs like have like hidden from us so yeah and uh, in, in the meanwhile we have this amazing particle system so Hopefully, hopefully you can enjoy it. All right. Well, everyone have a wonderful evening, noon, and or night, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.
Goodbye.